Hey guys. Finally. Got a John Kerry day here for sure now. Of course the snow's finally starting to melt away. Beautiful day today. Probably 55, 56 degrees here in East Tennessee. Been waiting on this for <laughs> probably a month and a half. Uh, heading up to the garage now. Trying to do some more work on that truck bed. But yeah, we still got a little bit of snow that's not melted, but hopefully after today that'll be a thing of distant past and I hope that we don't see any more until next winter. Uh, yep, definitely glad that it's starting to turn towards spring now. Hopefully we're about there. Hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, you guys that are still in the snow, hopefully you're staying warm. It's about time to haul off some more stuff when the weather gets a little nicer and get some of this stuff cleaned out before I got to start mowing again. All my neighbor's dogs down there hear me. <laughs> Put the camera away and I'll bring you guys back here in just a second since I get the garage opened up. Okay guys, I'm back in the garage now. This is uh, taking place a few days after the last video I showed you in the garage. Of course, uh, preceding this particular video you saw where I was outside, that was today, Sunday, with the beautiful weather and everything. So, I got the other stuff cut out and just kind of loosely got this thing fit it in place for now just to kind of see where I've got to finish cutting the rest of the sheet metal off to get it to fit up on there good. One thing I noticed uh, right here where they did the stamping and it goes up into where the tail light stuff goes <laughs> as you can tell that's not even close so what I'm probably going to do is uh, take the cutoff wheel and just go straight across here and do the same thing on the existing panel underneath and then put my joint right there. It doesn't fit real well where it goes down into this particular panel. I've got a little bit of a gap right in here. Not sure how well you can see that, but I'll have to uh, pull that and probably do a little hammer and dolly work. Of course, i got to drill out for some spot welds right here to put back where the other ones were. This kind of gives you an idea how far the other one was pushed in. I'm going to have to straighten that brace out and get it back over to where it uh, meets this particular panel. It, it was bent that far. so. Getting this thing clamped up in here kind of gives me an idea of where everything needs to go back to. Uh, here's the uh, the brace for the front, so that'll kind of tuck that back in. That's why I wanted to get it up here and see where everything kind of lines up at. Kind of give me a point of reference. I put the tailgate on, uh, the one off of his truck, and evidently at some point, I'm not sure if it happened there in this particular accident to total this truck or what, but the top of the bedside on this side is leaning out. So I talked to Velvet Hammer the other night, and he was saying that I could probably take a come along or something tied up here to the top of the stake pocket, and maybe come over here to this uh, point and kind of do a diagonal pull to kind of pull this back over. What I'll do once I get this panel in place, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll uh, put the tailgate back on there and kind of pull it and uh, see how far I can get it to line up. I may have to over pull it in, in order to allow for it to spring back to get the gap lined up. Like I said, the bottom looked fine where the hinge and everything was, but the top of it, I had a gap almost to the point where you stick your fingers in there. The latch barely did catch the uh, latch mechanism. I mean, it's not doesn't look bent looking down the tailgate, but definitely when uh, you put the tailgate on there, you can see the gap and everything, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a scribe and just uh, use the paint and scribe me a mark down through here so that I can uh, cut this off and I also have to go down through there and uh, butt weld that all together so there's no seam. Uh, so I am going to have to separate it a little bit right here with this. It's going to go over the top of this. It actually kind of wraps over the top of the structure that the head of the uh, tail light screws into. So I'll have to kind of pop that loose. There's probably a spot weld in behind that. But anyway, I'll uh, take a scribe, mark that, get that cut off cut this little piece right here off. That thing would be a bear trying to 
get that folded back up in there. I don't think I want to deal with that. I believe I'll just keep what the original is, start right here and just follow a straight line right straight across, and then keep the original part of the sheet metal for that. So I'll bring you guys back in a few. Okay, I got this uh, little corner right here cut off, and the fit is quite a bit better. That thing was off quite a bit. Uh, once I clip that off, I'm now able to push this up in here to where it'll fit. I took a, I guess an ice pick would be the best thing. It's not a, actually a scribe, and marked all the way around where uh, the two panels touch. Uh, all the way down this side here, you can probably see that in the paint. So I can unclamp it now and take and uh, slowly trim up to my mark. I'll cut it a little long, stick the panel back up on there again just to make sure I'm not coming up short. Uh, and I'll just keep trimming it up until I get a good fit. I've got it pretty well flush right here where it goes around the, uh, the tail light section because all that's going to be coming out. So I'll have to rely on this piece of sheet metal that's in behind us that everything spot welds to in order to uh, push it up to where everything goes. But uh, I'll pop this back off here and I'll get the metal trimmed up and I'll bring you guys back uh, when I get that done. Okay, I got the uh, piece trimmed off, and I was able to leave just a little bit of my line. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera or not. A little white mark just a little bit above where I cut it. There were a couple of spot welds right here where it goes into this uh, piece that the taillight bolts into. I ground them down just enough where I could uh, see where it's at in the camera. Yeah, uh, break it off. And this piece right here, it went around, and luckily there was no spot welds on the back side of it. So I got everything cut off. That really takes a lot of the rigidity out of the fender, I'll tell you that. Uh, luckily there's a piece right here that uh, goes over to the inner bed side, and that kind of ties the front of it together, so I've got a good starting point. And of course I left the brace in the position it came off. I was able to get this bent back down straight where it goes. Now I've got to do is a little bit of hammer and dolly work to get it flat. And I also got to take and uh, clean the paint off here to tell where the spot welds for what's left of the old uh, fender and get it cut off of there. And then I'll uh, get everything fitted back up and then I'll probably take just a side grinder and kind of work that edge down a little at a time while I get everything fitted up real close. So when I get all of that accomplished and get the piece set in place, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, now I know it's going to be a, a really nice job when I'm done. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's worse. It's uh, actually looks worse than it is. The uh, grinder hung up in a piece of steel right there and got away from me. So I'm going to clean this up and stick a band aid over it, and I'll be back in just a minute, guys. See, good as new. <laughs> Shh, y'all don't tell my wife, okay? Uh, I got everything fitted up pretty decent. Uh, Still got to pull this up just a little. Oh, light's in the way. Uh, still got to pull this back just a little bit more to get that corner to line up good, but the body lines seem to be lining up pretty good now. The one that I really wanted to concentrate on was this one right here by the tail light, since that kind of goes around the edge of that. I'll uh, pull that back down and uh, get that ready. The bracket on the bottom, I've got it kind of clamped it right now. I drilled some holes for spot welds, but that piece was a little bit short <coughs> where it goes down to it. And, of course, I've got this one right here that goes down to where the bolt hole and everything's at, and it's pretty close. But I've done about all I can do as far as trying to prep to get it lined up. And then I'll have to put a few spot welds here or there to kind of hold it in place before I can start tweaking it to pull it into alignment again. <coughs> of course, you all know these panels are never the exact shape of the OEM ones. So once I get this corner tacked right here to that brace and get a couple of tacks coming down the length of it there, I can come over here and kind of force this in. Might even have to trim just a little bit more of that off to get it to fit underneath the other piece. And then I've got to uh, pull this together. I've got a pretty sizable gap right there, but I believe once I get everything spot welded together on the other side, everything will kind of go into place. And if for some reason it doesn't, I can always drill the spot welds back out and get everything lined up. But uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go down the house, get this thing cleaned up, 
and put this video together and put it up for you guys. I'm okay. It was just something minor. I've been taking aspirin the last couple of days for a toothache, and I'm bleeding like a stuck pig. So no problems, though. It wasn't even big enough to require a stitch. Everything's good to go. But I uh, hope everybody's doing all right. Uh, everything's going pretty good around here. Getting warm in here now. i got the heat on. But uh, hope all of y'all are doing okay, and I'll get this put up, and I'll talk to most of you on uh, Mumble tonight. Y'all have a good evening. See you later. Bye.